All right, so you wanna check and see if your machine came with a little box that has parts and cleaning supplies in it. This is what mine looks like. This cleaning supplies are down underneath here. You're gonna to wanna to take a small brush like this. Most machines will come with one. Um, if it doesn't, I'm sure you can find one at a sewing machine shop or probably something you have around the house with work, but don't trust me on that. I would get one from a sewing machine shop. Um, so you wanna make sure your needle is up and you do that by turning this wheel towards you. You always wanna turn the wheel, this is called the hand wheel over here on the side, turn it towards you until the needle is all the way up. And then you're gonna open this container here and some machines have a container on top and I'll show you one like that in just a minute. But you're gonna to wanna to take out any parts that you can take out and you see there's a lot of lint in here. Um, so you're just gonna to wanna to take your little brush and get out all the lint that you can. Um, some people use compressed air, but I do not suggest doing that because that will just push the dust and lint further into your machine. So just find you a little brush and clean out all the lint you can. It doesn't seem like that would make a big difference in how your machine operates, but it really, it really can. And on my machine, this right here can pop open. Um, yours might be a little bit different, but I'm also gonna clean out all the lint in here. And that comes out. <laughs> so take out any parts that you can get out. And you're just gonna wanna clean all that yucky lint clean out of there. And I almost completely forgot to take off this top plate. Some of them unscrew, mine just pops off. This is where it's actually really linty down in here. Mine is disgusting. So you definitely want to not forget up in here. This is where you're going to take your little brush. Look how nasty, guys. Yeah, Gross. So I'm going to take my little brush. And it's actually better to start up here. I should have done that because you're just going to be brushing it off. And probably lint is falling down where I just cleaned. So I'll go back and make sure no lint is down in the bobbin race after I get done cleaning up here. But yeah, this gets a lot of lint up here. And... That can really affect how it runs, believe it or not. Yeah, so I'm gonna get back down under here and just reattach that plate. Mine just snaps on, but you'll see on the other machine that it screws on. Here's an example of another machine, and this one's a little bit different. As you can see, this one, the compartment that opens is right here. So you're gonna to wanna to take this out. And here is where this plate needs to be unscrewed. And I do not have the screwdriver that came with the machine. This was too long, so it was kind of, it's kind of MacGyvering it as I went. So I'm going to speed this up. There we go. Pretend like I just unscrewed all that. So I'm gonna take that plate off. And after I get that off, whenever it took me a second. Okay, so I got that off. And I went ahead and took the foot off just so I could access it a little bit better. And then there was a plastic part as well that I took off. And then I took out the bobbin race and I'm cleaning all down in here, getting that lint out. As you can see, this machine, the bobbin loads from the top, so it's just gonna be a little bit different, but still just getting it cleaned up as much as possible. And I don't want you to worry right now if you try to put it back together and can't get it exactly. That's why I saved cleaning the machine for last because um, we are going to, in the next video, we're going to go over how to thread your bobbin and thread your machine and so we'll be doing all of that in that video. That's why also I wanted to make sure you practiced your sewing before you took it apart just in case you couldn't get it back like it's supposed to be. You've had a chance to practice it before you take it apart to clean it. And the last part of cleaning is oiling 
and every machine does not need to be oiled necessarily, so definitely check your manual before you oil it. But get some sewing machine oil. They sell it at any craft stores or sewing shops. And look at your manual about where and how to oil it. Mine just requires putting like two little drops down in here. And then after that, I just turn the hand wheel a little bit to get the oil all nice and in there where it's supposed to be. And that is it. I will see you on Tuesday when we go over how to thread the machine and getting it all set up to get ready to sew.